The following is a tutorial of the Splash Top Remote Access tool that the Help Desk and Tech Support Department use. I'm going to start by showing you how to install the Splash Top business application. So what you're going to do is go to splashtop.com. We're going to go to downloads. We're going to go to the Splash Top business access. And we're going to download the appropriate version, which uh, usually is going to be the Windows version. Uh, after this application downloads, I'm going to run it. I'm just going to go back one more time because I don't want anyone to get confused. Um, you're going to be downloading the application on the left-hand side, Splash Top Business App, not the custom streamer on the right-hand side. That's a different application that we will be talking about a little later in this video. So I'm going to run the application that we downloaded, the Splash Top Business App, and I'm going to install it. First thing you're going to want to do is log in. You'll be provided with a username and password. And you'll see there's a list of computers. These are various computers that we can connect to. If they're blue, that means they're online. And if they're grayed out, that means they are offline. Uh, there's a search bar on top. So I'm going to search for a computer that I know is online. Um, now you can see this icon is blue compared to the other ones before, which were grayed out. Uh, to log into the computer is very simple. You're just going to double click it and the computer is going to load. Now we're connected to the computer. This computer has the splash top streamer installed, which we're going to talk about in a little while. And that's why it is accessible. So right now I'm controlling this computer. I'm going to maximize the screen, make it full screen. I'm just going to show you a, a couple of options that we have here across the top. If this system happened to have multiple monitors, we could click this icon here and we can switch between the monitors. This particular computer only has one monitor, so it's only let us see that one monitor. Um, you can also transfer files from within the Splash Top application. So if we wanted to transfer a file from our computer to this computer, or from this computer to our computer, we could click the file transfer button. You can see that we have the local computer, which is the computer I'm on, and the remote computer, which is the computer that we're connected to. I'm going to show you how to transfer a file. I'm going to choose a small file here so that it transfers over quickly. This is a small 400 kilobyte file, and I'm going to transfer it to my desktop, which is selected. I'll hit the arrow over here, and now the file is being transferred to my computer. So you can see this file is TVA underscore 20 PCMC. I'm just going to pull up my desktop here now so that you can see that the file was transferred over and here's the file. I'm going to delete the file because I don't need that. In addition to file transfer, uh, you can also send a control alt delete by clicking the CAD icon up here. I'm going to hit cancel. Um, you can go full screen by pressing the full screen button. You can also blank the screen so that the user will not see what you're doing and you can lock the keyboard and mouse so that the user on the remote PC will not be able to use their keyboard or mouse. So these are the features that we will primarily be using for uh, the Splash Top business app. So we install uh, the Splash Top streamer on a computer and that's how we get access to it through the splash top business app we usually do that for computers that we want to be able to access at any given time so there are certain computers that we are managing for customers and they, you know if they call with an issue um, and uh, they don't have any staff in front of the computer we need to be able to access the computer so the splash top software allows us to access their computer at any time there's also an SOS app, which we're going to discuss in a little while. The SOS app is um, for a quick session when we need to log into someone's computer and make changes or help them set something up. But when we do not want to have unattended access at any time. Um, so with an SOS section, we'll only be able to access that computer while the SOS application is running. Once the customer or the user on the other end closes the SOS application, we will not be able to connect. 
The streamer, however, will always run in the background unless the streamer is uninstalled and we will be able to connect to that computer at any time. So the uh, Splashtop business software, which we just installed, is the software that allows us to control the remote computers. Um, then we have the Splashtop streamer. The streamer gets installed on a remote computer so we can access it at any time. And then we have the SOS client. The SOS client is for a quick remote session to someone's computer, um, but that session is temporary. So let's go uh, now that we're familiar with the um, Splash Top business app. I'm going to just show you a couple of simple, uh, useful features here. Um, if we hit the info button, you'll see the IP address. This can come in handy. Uh, sometimes we um, may need the public IP address of a remote computer. Uh, you know, usually it should be documented, but if we don't have it documented or there's some other issue with troubleshooting, this information could be helpful. So this will show us the last public IP address that that device had. Um, it will also um, show us um, the last time the system was online. That could be helpful for troubleshooting because uh, sometimes a computer goes down and we're trying to narrow down the issue and figure out what caused it. And we, if it had this flash top streamer connected, we can see when the computer actually turned offline. Um, something else that um, you may need to do from here, um, only one person at a time can connect to a computer using this uh, splash top business app. So if uh, an another tech accidentally leaves the splash top uh, connection open and they're not available, you can't ask them to close it. You can come over here and you can restart the streamer or um, there's also an option if someone else is connected to disconnect the session. So you can restart the streamer or disconnect the session from here if needed. Um, if someone else is connected. So that is a, a feature you will find that you need. Um, next, we're going to talk about the Splash Top Streamer and how to install that. I'm going to install the Splash Top Streamer on this computer for this example, but you're typically going to be installing the Splash Top Streamer on the customer's remote PC. Usually, once you've connected with the SOS. Um, the streamer application is available for download on the Google Drive. We have it here in the level one help desk folder. I'm going to download it. You can also search for streamer and download it that way. After the file downloads, I'm going to run it. And this is going to install the Splash Top Streamer application on my PC. It's asking me to confirm that David at Structured Progress will be able to access the computer. I'm going to confirm. And now the Splash Top Streamer software is installed. So I'm going to uh, give this a name. Uh, the way we name these uh, computers is we put the business name and the address. Uh, the reason is down the line we want to search for the computer we want to make sure it's easy so we don't want to have a random name like the host name or uh, the customer's name. Um, the, the, the method we use for naming them is the business name followed by the address. So I'm going to save the name. After we name the computer You'll see if you open up your Splash Top business that the computer is available here. So I'm going to search for it. Here's the computer. Um, 
before we connect uh, to the computer using the uh, business app um, the next step is going to be to disable the um, sleep and hibernate options on, on the Windows PC because uh, if we've installed the splash top stream it's because we need access to the computer at any time so we don't want the computer going to sleep because if the computer is asleep we won't be able to connect to it so I'm going to go to the power settings and I want to make sure that the computer never goes to sleep Okay, I'm going to go back there so you guys can see that again. We put the computer to sleep. Never um, turn off the display. It's okay if the display turns off. We can still connect to the computer even if the display is off, but we don't want it to go to sleep. So the way we get to the screen is we can go to the control panel and we can search for power. Here are the power options. Change the power settings. Change plan settings. I'm here again. Also, we can search in Windows, set power. Again, I can edit the power plan and it takes me right back here. So we want to make sure that the computer doesn't go to sleep. So now we have the streamer installed. You can see it's online. Um, and you can uh, see we gave it a name that makes sense. It has the business name and the address. And when I hit my refresh button here in the Splash Top Business app, it was available. The first time you try to connect, you are going to have to refresh. Uh, anytime a computer is added or it turns on or off, the status changes, you want to refresh. Um, now, if I double click, you're going to see that I have access to the computer. I'm going to change the display that we're looking at so we don't have that issue you guys just saw there okay so you can see now that I have access to the desktop and you can see there's multiple monitors here so we can switch between the monitors. next I'm going to show you how to use the SOS app so if you want to connect to a customer's computer you're going to want to have them give you the nine digit SOS code. So you're going to direct them to go to our website, www.structureprogress.com. Now on the top right hand side, there's an SOS button. So if they click SOS, it's going to automatically download the SOS application. All the customer has to do is click on the splashed up SOS app. When it opens up, it's going to generate a nine digit code and you're going to ask for the nine digit code. There's the nine digit code. I'm going to just copy it to my clipboard because I can in this particular situation. We're going to click on the SOS. So I have the splash top business app open. This time, instead of searching for a computer, I clicked on the SOS icon over here in the top left. I'm going to enter the nine digit code and I'm going to hit connect. And as you can see, again, I have access to the desktop. Okay, so it's as simple as that. Um, if there's, you know, just a quick issue you're going to be helping the customer with, you now have control of their computer and you can make any changes. If this is one of those cases where we need to have an ongoing uh, connection to the computer, then you would um, proceed to install the splash top streamer application on this computer. You don't want to, generally speaking, to walk the customer through installing the streamer application. You want to get the SOS connection and install the streamer application yourself. After you install the streamer application, you're going to um, give it a name, appropriate name and you're going to disable the uh, sleep option. Now, um, the SOS application is limited to a, uh, a, a certain number of sessions. So if we have too many texts connected at the same time, you will get an error message. In that case, what you want to do is send a 
message to the tech support group chat and tell them you know you're trying to use the west so west is it possible somebody can disconnect maybe somebody no longer needs it um and once they disconnect you'll be able to connect using the sos app but that would only be if there's uh, too many users uh too many technicians using the sos application at the same time that's only true for sos for the splash top business app when you're connecting to a computer directly here um, everybody has unlimited uh, connections, so there's no issue there. Uh, that will end uh, the uh, training session for the Splash Top software.